In today's Vision Pro experience, we're checking out Persona Studio. So this I have a test flight for, is it even public release? Let me, oh cool, it is uh, public. So you all can go download this now and whoa, there I am. Why am I not centered? Let me close it and restart it. There I am. If you can't guess, Persona Studio basically takes the uh, Persona camera, like when you're FaceTiming, but now it's just a solid standard recording. And uh, woo. Persona's still looking a little rough. This looks a lot better than my first version. It, may, it gave me a crazy forehead, so I put a hat on in this one, uh, which is pretty cool. So this app seemingly is pretty simple. Uh, it's basically so you can record it. I could be the first Persona full-time YouTuber, never show my real face again. Uh, but don't worry, I'm not going to do that because uh, I don't think anyone wants to stare at this for 15, 20 minutes. Let's see what we have for settings, video resolutions. So it looks like we can go 720, 1080, and 4K. It will mirror the video, flip it horizontally, uh, and we can unlock everything for three bucks, basically to unlock the high resolutions. Honestly, uh, not a bad price if you are planning on using this. Let's see what the roadmap's looking like. Add share sheet support, automatically sending and posting video. Oh, that's cool. Fix, allow photos instead of videos. There's a lot of good, adjust camera angle. Wow, there's a lot of good stuff on the roadmap here you guys should check out. I love, love, love that so many indie developers don't seem like they're being so greedy with like subscription prices and stuff. Let's see if this works out. I think I'll be paying that $3 well worth it to the developer. Looks like we have a start recording and then a timer. I'm guessing so we can get ready. Oh, it just gives us like a three second head start. So now I'm recording my persona. Let's see, can I still do my screen recording? Yep. So I'm still doing my screen recording, but now I'm recording a persona. So I'm doing my YouTube video. Make sure you subscribe, like, and subscribe. That's all we ever say, right? Now the eye line is weird because I'm I'm looking at my eyes. I'm gonna look down. I'm gonna look at the stop recording button. But in the persona, am I looking straight forward? That's kind of weird. Do I need to adjust it? No. No matter where I put it, uh, if I put it up high. All right. So now I'm looking at my neck. I'm looking like right here. Trippy. All right. Eye line. Eye line's a bit weird. I don't like that. It's like looking up. But I don't know. It's interesting. Let's. Stop the recording. All right, so now it gives us a secondary window so we can play it back. That's kind of cool. Audio it's sounds good. And we can choose to save it to our camera roll. That masterpiece is saved. Uh, this is a pretty cool app. This is pretty sweet. And obviously this is just 720 right now, but let me go ahead and give this developer some props. So I'm gonna purchase this. All right, so now we've purchased the full set. Now I can turn on 4K. Now let's do a little test and see if we can see the difference so you guys can know if it's worth the upgrade or not. So now I'm recording. Uh, I will say the preview doesn't look any different, uh, to be honest. So maybe this whole time I'm seeing a 1080 or 4K image, but it did say before what it exports it as. So maybe when I exported the previous one, it looks worse than what I'm seeing and this will look as good. Uh, but let's go ahead and see. All right, so we saved both to our camera roll. Let's go to our photos. All right, so now I got photos open here and I'm pulling both of these out. You can see the, I did not resize either of these. This is what it exported as, so that is 720, I guess, and this is 4K. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and mute these. If I play them, I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't feel like a world of difference. I mean, personas aren't exactly the most high fidelity image known to man anyway. I mean, technically I can see the windows bigger, so there is more pixels there, but, and it was only three bucks. So for me, it, you know, I'm just happy to, to support a developer, but if you're looking at this from like a, is it substantially more impressive to get the 4K export? Eh, I don't know, you guys tell me in the comments below. Anyways, this is checking out Persona Studio. Awesome, kudos to the developer who created it. And let me know what you guys think and don't forget to get subscribed. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.